Genius Brand Stock Update. So, wow, guys, it was an epic day for Genius Brand bag holders like myself. So, guys, you know I've been talking about Genius Brands ever since the Cartoon Channel launched last June, and I was completely surprised. So, I had been trading a few of those um, Trump SPAC stocks like... Uh, uh, B E N E and D W A C and things didn't go so well with that. So, you know, I didn't put too much money into those plays. So I kind of just like, um, you know, pretty checked out for most of the trading day. When I came back, I saw the genius had absolutely pumped guys. So we're going to talk about what exactly happened here. So we take a look, um, at, at the trading day that closed out on monday we can see that all of a sudden after lunchtime genius branches started pumping like crazy guys and it was up on ridiculous high volume okay 110 million shares traded and it's actually still pumping in after hours as well as we can see that in after hours it's at two dollars and forty cents guys of 50 over 50 percent on the day and up 17 percent in after hours so we're going to talk about what exactly is going on with genius brands why i'm still holding on my shares and where i think this stock is heading in the future before i get into the video guys i want to tell you guys that i am simply using weeble is my swing trading account trying to trade up in and out of some of these stocks guys weeble is an awesome awesome worker great alternative to robin hood you'll get two free stocks if you sign up what you have to do is open your Webull brokerage account and get your first free stock. Direct deposit any amount and get a second free stock. You can do things like own crypto, uh, zero commissions just like Robinhood, own fractional shares. And Webull has some of the best level two data so you can see the complete bid and ask for all of the shares and you can see the complete order book and it just has amazing charting guys. Really, really amazing software. So let's get right into the video guys. So uh, there was a, 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 a new update, a new press release. It says Genius Brand schedules investor conference call to discuss positive business development. Okay, guys. So we've seen this happen before. If you guys are familiar with Genius Brands, it seems like Andy Hayward, the CEO, he does this a couple times a year. He posts a press release on a, a positive business update. And unfortunately, in the past, uh, you know, he's really kind of let everybody down. There's like a lot of hype, a lot of excitement that we're going to see like a huge deal with Disney or maybe the company is going to get acquired or they're going to, uh, you know, have some huge, huge announcement. And usually it's just pretty good, you know, pretty good information. It's not really like business changing. That's going to change the huge fundamentals of the company. So what really happened here is we had a huge short squeeze. Okay. If we head over to shortsqueeze.com, we could see that, uh, uh, as of today, the short percentage of the float was 16%. So genius has always been a stock that has been heavily shorted. Okay, guys. Um, you know, the, the shorts have been targeting this company like crazy with around 48 million shares flow. That's a pretty big percentage, like 16% of the flow. That's definitely enough to cause a short squeeze. And that's exactly what happened with Genius Brands. So basically, um, you know, the shorts, you know, you know, lost their shirts and they had to cover. And then that's why we saw a huge, huge run up. So the stock ran up as high as about almost two dollars and fifty cents. OK, a little bit of resistance closing in at around two forty and after hours. So, guys, congrats for all the bag holders out there. I've been posting about Genius Brands for over a year now. I know a lot of people have said it's a trash company and things like that, but I beg to differ. And the reason why is simply we want to follow the money, guys. So you can find out this information um, anywhere. Um, if you go to Yahoo Finance, let's take a look at some of the major institutional holders. Okay. So these are some of the biggest institutional holders with the, the you know, the, the biggest bank rolls and the amount of money that can really, really make a stock move. And as we can see here, BlackRock, BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the entire world, guys. Okay. They're the largest institutional shareholder. They have over almost 20 million shares outstanding. Uh, as of June 29, they owned 19 million and that's 6% outsta outstanding shares. Uh, Vanguard, State Street. So these are some excellent, 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 um, you know, man, uh, institutional investment companies. Why would they be holding so many shares of Genius Brands if it wasn't, you know, worth much? So I just think, you know, right there, you definitely want to follow the money. Okay. So anytime, anytime I see BlackRock and Vanguard, those are two of the most respected institutional, 
um, investment companies and asset management companies in the world. So that's definitely a, a good positive sign anyway. So for for long term, I think that obviously you want to play the, the genius brand short squeeze, but I think long term, that's some excellent news. So in the short run, we really don't know what the news update is going to be. Okay, this is going to happen at 1030 um, a.m. on Wednesday. So now, you know, I am, uh, I'm not going to lie, I've been, I'm going to be a bit worried because in the past, you know, the news hasn't really been that great and the stock is absolutely tanked. So usually the stock pumps leading up to the news and then it kind of tanks, right? So everyone's really, really excited and then the news is kind of eh, lackluster according to history based on what Andy Hayward has done in the past and then the stock is kind of tanked. But the good news is, is that I, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the company is really turning around, okay? They had the Chizcom acquisition, Shaq's cartoon is coming just in a few months, it looks like. It should be here by Q2 um, 2022. And the, the, the superhero kindergarten cartoon with Arnold Schwarzenegger, that was a huge success. Uh, views are up, revenues up, everything's up with Genius Brands. So the company's just doing better fundamentally and, um, you know, it's got good, uh, a good shareholder base. I would say BlackRock leading the charge is pretty solid. So we'll kind of just see where this short squeeze heads in the future. Um, you know, I think we'll see a lot more volume, obviously, in Tuesday's session. So, you know, for me, I've just been bag holding. Okay. You know, I have like my average purchase price, uh, by average cost basis are like around, uh, a dollar and 80 cents. So I was basically red on, on Genius Brands. It was one of probably my biggest loser. Um, in my entire portfolio this year, but I was just holding on to it because I simply knew the quality um, of the the people backing the company, the quality of the shareholder base, and and most importantly, the quality of the content that they're going to be coming out with in the future, especially Shaq's uh, garage guys. I met Shaq in person. He's a wonderful guy. He's he not only is he a great basketball player, I think he has a great business mind as well. Uh, he was an early investor in Google, and he's just had a he has a successful career on, you know, in terms of investing, basketball, and even he's, uh, you know, pretty, uh, pretty active on, I believe he's on NBA on TNT. He's, uh, a broadcaster so you know basically i think shaq has the midas touch everything he's gotten involved with uh, that i've seen has done well he's done really really well. obviously he did really really well playing basketball with the lakers he won a bunch of championships there won a championship with the miami heat um you know he, he was an early investor in google now he's an investor in genius brands so that's personally why i was so interested in genius brands and that's why i've been bag holding not because i just believe in uh genius brands the company but i believe in shaquille o'neal so that's 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 my personal uh, reason for kind of being really interested in James Rand. So it was excellent to see this big green candle here. Okay, guys, uh, for like you guys back holding, you know, uh, you should be, you should probably should have been averaging down. So if you were able to get your average cost per share, uh, down below two dollars, you're doing pretty well. So now we'll see. We've already broken past this resistance. We'll see a high. Usually, Genius Brands really kind of tops out at around three dollars. Okay, so lots of support at a dollar and thirty cents, and then long like long term resistance at three dollars. So we'll just see what happens. Okay, we should see a lot more activity uh, going. Probably long term, I expect Genius Brands to just constantly keep. Uh, pushing dollar levels so three dollars four dollars five dollars six dollars and then in the long run okay it's possible that we could retest these levels of around six dollars and fifty cents that long-term uh, resistance and then of course the the the, the pop was at twelve dollars so hopefully we'll fill this cup and then run into the future uh this is a very 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 um, low market cap stop just 610 million guys so it's a very small company very small cap stock lots of um growth in the future so we'll see what happens here guys I'll be sure to update you guys on the business update on wednesday it should be another epic day hope you guys um have made some good money because i made some nice gains and after losing uh, you know not too much money a tiny bit of money on that bene play that i posted earlier uh it was very very nice to, to make some massive gains on genius brands guys so that's exactly how the market works you know you're going to win some you're going to lose some some plays will pop off some plays won't you just make sure that you make your losses small cut losses uh you know don't don't take huge losses and then when you take good gains you're uh, either holding long term to keep the compounding or you're just taking your gains and then moving on to the next stock. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed my content, please smash the red subscribe button and smash the like button as well um, for more Genius Brands videos, guys. I'm going to be covering this stock, uh, you know, as long as I'm going to be holding it. I've been holding ever since 
last year so i'm going to continue to hold this stock i really like this company so that's it until next time guys hope you guys enjoyed this video take care